Hey, hey, Intuitive Soul Tribe. Mel, Intuitive Soul Coach here, excited to bring to you today's collective reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, welcome. This is a very exciting collective reading as it's not your typical pick a card. However, we will label it that, but this is more of a pick a tool because as you can see here, there are three spiritual tools that I really want you to tune into the energy of. And maybe you're feeling a call towards one specifically or all of them. I will post the timestamps in the description box below, but just a few things here before we start. A general introduction. It's interesting because not only is this reading going to be informative and coaching and full of divine guidance, but I believe it to be educational as well. I did do a little extra research on selenite, sage, and singing bowls, and there was a distinct underlying parallel energy that You'll see showing up as we talk about them here in a moment, but one of the things that came up, and I actually took notes because spirit sometimes goes a mile a minute, just like I do, and it's hard to grasp onto everything coming through, so I have to jot down notes so I don't miss anything, but there was an underlying energy that I wanna talk about here for a moment before you pick your tool or card that you wanna tune into is the message came up numerous times around free radicals. Free radicals, maybe you've heard of free radicals in the body and cells and DNA. Maybe it's completely foreign to you. That's okay. We'll dive into it here for a moment. But free radicals are high concentration amounts found in the body, which can actually damage cells, DNA, and they can play a role in the development of cancer or other illnesses or disease. Now, why is this being brought up? Because what is the number one cause for death? At least I think it's still cancer. It's pretty high up there. It chances are either you or someone that you know has been affected by cancer. So interestingly enough, this was brought up by Spirit today in the the duel that we see, right? Who would have thought selenite, sage, and singing bowls would all bring about this underlying energy? So then you have to ask yourself, well, Melissa, where do free radicals come from? How do they manifest or how do we populate an overabundance of them in the body? Now, of course, I'm not a professional. I'm not a doctor of any means. Please, please see the disclaimer in the description box below. But from my research, it looks like free radicals uh, are you know something that does happen through the meta, meta, metabolic process in the human body, but it's when we start to bring them in in high concentrations that they have a difficult time maybe leaving or manifesting externally out of the body. They tend to stay in the dynamic of the body, which can, again, create cancer or, or dis-ease. So different exposures, right, that we can come up against, which this probably is no surprise, but exposures to maybe x-rays, the ozone layer, cigarettes, air pollutants, uh, even foods such as, you know, extra excess of sugars and carbohydrates, meats, alcohols. It can also be due to maybe industrial chemicals as well. So many different ways that this can really manifest within the body. Now, the interesting thing here, Soul Tribe, is selenite, sage, and singing bowls all show up as reducing free radical cells within the body. So reducing that energy instead of just letting it fester and accumulate more of in the body, right? These three tools can actually bring about a very antioxidant type of energy and it can help the immune system. So we'll dive into each of these three tools. We'll dive into what they do aside from maybe what you've just been taught or what you've heard about them, right? A lot of times you think of sage. Yeah, sage is great for cleansing energy when you burn it, but there's so much more. So that's why I'm excited to share 
this reading with you. So let's dive in here. I want you to take a close look at each of the tools, right? You may have even seen on the thumbnail, you may have been able to choose between the three different ones here. We have singing bowl, which I'll play for you here. And I believe this one is directly attuned with the crown chakra as well because you can get singing bowls that are different vibrational frequencies that can align with a specific chakra. Now, it doesn't mean it can't help the other chakras as well, but some of them are specifically holding the vibration of a particular chakra. Next, we have selenite energy. You may be familiar with selenite. It is a very almost soft softer type of crystal where you can damage it uh, quite easily with even a fingernail or a drop but selenite showing up here maybe this is what you're being pulled or attracted to and then we also have this ginormous uh, sage bundle this is a pretty big one I mean they come in all different shapes and sizes so I want you just to take a close look here which one is attracting you the most and again feel free to check them all out or jump ahead in the timestamp section in the description box below and I'll see you over there all right hey hey pile one or those of you that chose selenite the crystal selenite here now interestingly enough selenite is also known as the crystal of liquid light right liquid light how amazing is that it's a really great crystal for purification clearing cleansing it's a very high vibrational stone and it can help charge crystals it can help you cleanse or clear the space of a home and including the body as well it's a really wonderful stone for protection for confusion even because it is it is empowered with the angelic realm and higher vibrational frequencies it correlates directly with that crown chakra it is the number or energy of eight as well, which is interesting, I found out, because eight is the personal year that we are currently in. And it also aligns with the astrological sign of Taurus, okay? So interesting facts around selenite as well when it comes to health. Now again, please see the disclaimer if need be, but selenite can help with the spinal column, right? For those of you that tend to go to the chiropractor or you have spinal misalignments or perhaps there is an energy around flexibility, selenite can really help you because it, again, it's that liquid light. Now it can also help with deformities of the skeletal system. How cool is that? Maybe some of you have, you know, a toe that tends to kind of be all wonky, right? Or maybe there's a, a certain area that tends to uh, maybe feel like it's going in a direction it shouldn't, right? Sel selenite can help the body skeletal system. It also is really good, I found out, for metal poisoning such as maybe metal fillings or if you have been exposed to a high amount of metal. Okay, that was interesting. And lastly here, it can help reverse the side effects of cancer, tumors, age spots, wrinkles, and even light sensitivity. So how cool is that? It was really fun doing the research around selenite because it's so much more than just a pretty crystal. All right. So I also get some of you could have maybe a middle name, maybe a grandmother's name, or maybe your name in itself is Celeste. Okay, Celeste. I also am getting the numbers 444 and 40. Maybe that's significant. It could be someone's age. It can be in a house number, a telephone number. Maybe you're seeing a lot of fours because that can be the energy of of planning, foundation, stability. For those of you that have struggled possibly with your stability, financially, emotionally, physically, I feel like this is a, your reading. Okay, now I also get Marin, and I'll share this in the other readings as well, a couple of these, because this was coming up. I should have mentioned it in the, the general section of this, this reading, but I'm getting uh, Marin or Marin or Mori 
was a name that I was getting as well. So let's dive in and see what cards are showing up here. What do you need to know at this time, Pile 1? Or you selenite choosers out there. Okay, we have healing. Now, how interesting is this? We have healing, which actually has the singing bowl, which is the other option, right? So this is all about recovery as well, closure. Some of you may be Reiki practitioners. Perhaps you are studying some form of energy work. Some of you have gone through grief yourself, and that's why a lot of you would make an excellent counselor, guide, coach, mentor, or spiritual healer. But this is about health. And selenite can help in many different areas of health, as you just heard, especially for those of you that tend to second guess your own intuition or your own spiritual gifts, which I believe I see in the gifts showing up. Yep, there it is. So this can actually help you uh, enhance and connect through your crown chakra to receive downloads and messages from the divine. So beautiful themed cards here around selenite for you. Now, this is all about your spiritual gifts. Some of you may even have the gift of clear audience, which I was going to mention with the singing bowl group, right? But some of you may have felt a little bit of tug of war between maybe the selenite and the singing bowl. I also see here that there's a lot of gratitude here. There's an energy of uh, gratitude, being thankful for the lessons that you've gone through, even though some of those lessons were challenging. I feel like you pile one, there's a deep appreciation for life, for your health, for the gifts that the universe, that God, that your higher power, right, offers you. And I feel like you are trying to stay optimistic around your stability, whether that's career, whether that's love, whether it's health, and you're going to celebrate. I'm also getting the energy of your birthday or maybe the next holiday, there could be a milestone or some sort of breakthrough, some sort of victory, because we also see the presence and the balloon. So these are timeless readings. Uh, these are also collective, so everyone is welcome. So some of you could have a birthday tomorrow, some of you 12 months from now. But I am seeing here that between now and your birthday, your gifts are really for center. They're really right up in your face here for you to take a deep look at because look at you also have divine guidance. And this is the celestial energy, right? This is that angelic realm that we were connecting with with selenite earlier, liquid light, which is all about, you know, such a high vibrational frequency of purification and positive energy. This is spirit answering your prayers. Right? So some of you may even see by your birthday, some of your prayers or wishes are manifesting. Beautiful. This is about spiritual strength, assistance, and miracles. I love that. Some of you may have children. You may be parents. Maybe you've been working on healing the inner child. Perhaps you yourself help others heal their own inner child. This can also be having a little fun and playing with that child within, right? Laughter. Laughter is healing. Laughter is medicine. This is about being enthusiastic for life. And some of you felt like you've been missing out or perhaps you felt like you haven't had fun for quite some time or you've held a lot of stress and a lot of tension in your body. This is about innocence. It's about happiness and fun, joy, and re rejoining that sense of magic, right? That magic for life. And selenite can help you do that. It can usher in more positivity and more harmony. And for those of you that feel confused or mental fog around a situation in your life, this can really help you see things more clear. Okay, and also put a positive or optimistic spin on something that may feel very heavy. Okay, now showing up from the Soul Purpose deck here, we have creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. So a lot of you are artists of some way, shape, or form. And this is so interesting because I think each and every one of us are artists. We're all holding the paintbrush of our lives and the world is our canvas, right? So what do you want to create? What do you want to manifest today? And I feel like you are doing a lot of soul searching here, Pile One. You are doing a lot of 
reassessing your dreams, your career, your hobbies, your relationships. And I feel like you are ready to express yourself in big ways. This could be in the form of communication. It could be writing a book because we have author showing up here. This could be starting a YouTube channel. It could be speaking up to your family, sharing something to someone that you haven't shared before, getting something off your chest, or going towards that hobby or idea that you've had for quite some time, but maybe you've put on the back burner. It says, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Some of you, this is a children's book. For some of you, it could be an NDE, near death, experience book or podcast or channel for others of you it could be a book around spiritual gifts and for others it could be a, a book on wellness or healing or health I mean it can be anything of course but I also feel that you know whether this is the next bestseller or it's something that you put in your journal writing could be very helpful or therapeutic to you pile one now you have the school card as well. The answers that you seek involve maybe going back to school. It doesn't have to be in the traditional way. Some of you, yes, if you wanna go back and get a certification or get a PhD or whatever it may be, but this is also the energy of learning, right? The school of life. And I feel like a lot of you, you wanna expand your skills. Therefore, maybe you're listening to a podcast, maybe you're, you're joining a workshop or a seminar or a mastermind class. Perhaps you are the teacher and you are helping others, right? You could be the student. We're constantly oscillating between both. And I feel like there's an energy here of you going back and, and doing something over again, but in a new way, based on more knowledge, more wisdom, because you've graduated, right? You go from algebra one to algebra two. You wouldn't immediately jump into algebra two. So I feel like you've, you've leveled up in some way, and now you're ready to hit that next tier, that next chapter of your life. And for those of you that doubt yourself, don't, right? For those of you that question, <clears throat> excuse me, do you have the ability? Do you have the strength? Can you really dive into this? Do you have what it takes? The answer is absolutely. Because when you have strength on your side here, pile one, there's nothing you cannot do, right? You've set yourself up in this lifetime for, for abundance, for happiness, success, but also soul lessons, right? And sometimes those lessons can be very difficult, very big lessons in healing, very big lessons around maybe family dynamics. It says everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. And because I'm having a little bit of a throat activation as I'm talking about this, some of you have been silenced, maybe even silenced in a past life where you were told to not speak up, that you would be ostracized, that you would be beheaded, that you would be hung, right? For others of you, maybe it was this lifetime where when you were a child, you were told that, you know, not to speak up, that you would that you would outshine maybe your sibling or, you know, maybe you were told to be quiet in school because you talk too much, right? Hands, raise your hands if that was you. I was a big talker in school. So for some of you, you were silenced. And the next half of your life or the next step or the next tier is about not being silenced. You have a voice. You are here to express it creatively. All right. Let's see what tarot cards are coming up for you here. Pile one. Look at that. Aries energy with the Empress. You are meant to lead. You are meant to be in the front lines of whatever it is that you are focusing on at this time. This could be your career, right? Stepping into a powerful position, responsible role. But you have the map because you can see here that this Empress, he's holding a very large, <clears throat> excuse me, he's holding a very large scroll and his, his heart and his mind and his soul's path, he's using all the tools, but he knows the way because he's a natural born leader and he uses his inner compass to guide him. But he also knows that he's where he's at because of everything he's gone through right? He's all four kings wrapped up in one. And all four of those kings at one point were a page, right? And then they graduated to that knight and then graduated to the, you know, the king. So you've gone through a lot. And I feel like this is the time of your life, right? They're giving me that dirty dancing song that I had the time of my life. So a lot of you, this is the year 
2024 is the year where nobody puts pile one in the corner, right? It's time for you to get up there and lead. Now you have the six of swords showing up here as well. You have the six of swords, which is moving on to calmer waters. Healing has begun. We see it taking place here in your key themes. So when the six of swords is showing up here, this is about freeing yourself from maybe a situation that is beyond repair. Maybe it was unsafe. Maybe mentally it was destroying you in some way, shape or form. Hello, free radicals, right? <clears throat> I feel, excuse me, I feel some of you, <clears throat> I feel some of you had to go through this difficult period in order to be able to open up this curtain and have this clarity around something that maybe you didn't have before, but only once you come out of it, right? Once you come out of it, then you can see maybe how difficult things really were or how much damage something had been done. And I feel like that's when the actual healing begins, right? Once you've stepped out of this situation and you're like, whoa, that really did leave an impact on my you know, my well-being or my health or, you know, my, my self-worth. So some of you, it wasn't until you got out of a family dynamic here, or out of a toxic job or, you know, a situation that was less than that. Maybe some of you were able to then experiment more with your spiritual gifts, maybe even open up. That could have been the catalyst, some sort of, you know, trauma or some sort of healing had triggered your spiritual awakening, which a lot of times is when we start to open up to our spiritual gifts. Some of you may have even had a near-death experience or a traumatic childhood or something that had been the catalyst. Okay, we also have the judgment card. And that's what I ta I'm talking about here when it comes to spiritual awakening and a second chance, right? This could be karma, right? Letting go of old regrets. It can be a complete 180 when it comes to changing the direction of your life. This is about you blossoming, pile one. The judgment card, Scorpio energy here is about your purpose. It's about your calling and blossoming because of the experiences that you've gone through as well. This is about healing the wounds of the past and embracing change, releasing judgments upon yourself or others or judging a, a situation of the past but instead redeeming yourself because of it, going through the rebirth and really evaluating everything that you've learned and the soul contracts that may have been a part of that experience. And I feel like you are evolving in such a bright way where you'll never be the same by going through that situation, but it's for the better because you've decided to Take a look at your fears. You know when you have one of those dreams and you're running and running and running away from something? And sometimes what those dreams are is it's an aspect of your own personality or an aspect of your own shadow that you may be trying to numb, suppress, run away from, or just avoid altogether. Sometimes that's why we have lucid dreaming, right? So we can be aware of what we need to do. And sometimes what we need to do is stop in our tracks, right? Stop running from, maybe it's a presented as an animal, right? Maybe it's a black panther or an animal that feels like it's chasing you. Maybe it's a scary dog or a person or a creature and it seems scary. You want to run, run, run from it. But sometimes what we need to do is stop running and turn around and face whatever that is. And I see here you confronting your demons or confronting the monster, confronting the shadow, which is an archetype of yourself, pile one, powerful energy. You're facing some dark fears or you have faced your darkest fears. And by turning around, and this is where some of you are at in your life, you're confronting something, you're turning, turning it around or turning yourself around and looking at it. And you may just realize that it's not necessarily the big scary monster that you thought it would. Maybe you were running because you thought it was going to kill you, right? Or you thought that it was going to be something that destroyed you. But what you're realizing, <clears throat> excuse me, what you're realizing now is as you confront something, it doesn't have as much power or control over you as maybe you thought it once did. Because nine energy here, nine of swords, I feel like you're, you're healing because this can be the darkest before the dawn, but I feel like you're coming up out of a situation that's been pretty dark for you. And this is 
freeing yourself from this situation. Nines are about, you know, despair, obsessive thoughts, suffering. This can even affect sleep as well. Uh, it can be tossing and turning, sleep apnea, snoring. It can be restlessness, restless leg as well. And I feel like a lot of you, uh, by facing something within yourself, whether it be a shadow, maybe some of you, yes, dark night of the soul or doing some shadow work, doing some karmic lesson work, you're going to free yourself from whatever this nightmare was or is for you. Okay, so pretty deep. And again, because we have the selenite here, you're not alone. This is liquid light that is cleansing, purifying, bringing about a sense of high vibrational frequency to your life. So those of you that are going through some difficulties, which I feel like a lot of you, you've already done the healing work. And that's why the main card showing up here is the emperor, because now you're ready to step into your power. But sometimes you have that little voice, kind of like a pesky mosquito that tries to suck all your blood, right? It comes in and uh, it just distracts you. And it comes in and creeps into your thoughts and into your beliefs and it distracts you and it annoys you. And it can even stop you from stepping into your full potential. And I get that there's no stopping you now. You have what you need to live the life of your dreams, to go in this direction, to make that move, to do what you need to do to face something. Even if it's challenging, you have what it takes. That is what I have for you, Pile One. Pretty intense, pretty deep. I hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. And feel free to jump ahead to any of the other tools that you were attracted to. Okay, Selenite, we're not done yet, okay? We're not done. We almost forgot your messages from the angels here. So I am going to prolong this. So hopefully you don't miss this end part. But we do have here uh, integrity, okay? So again, this is for pile one Selenite. We have power animal. We have earth angel. And we also have vegetarian or vegan diet. So your first card out here is integrity. It says align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. So if you've already listened to, you know, part one, we'll call it, or the first half of the Selenite reading, it is really about you facing uh, some of your darkest fears, right? Because when you shed light to some of the dark, it no longer can live in that darkness. And again, throat activation for you, pal one. So there is really something here about you being seen, you being heard. It's about you activating your self-expression. And again, making sure that your actions and your values and your inner knowing align and they all match. That's what integrity is. You have vegetarian vegan diet, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which e elevates your spiritual frequency. So beautiful. And part of, you know, the free radical cells that we were talking about earlier do have to do with certain foods, right? Such as maybe alcohols, uh, higher a higher process of a lot of different red meats and sugars and things of that nature, a lot of processed foods. So just taking a look at what you are putting into your body. And for those of you that do have, again, any sort of toxic or heavy metals or a lot of the, the foods that may carry extra free radicals, uh, this vegetarian or vegan diet, even if it's for a short period of time can help you, but also the selenite, you can actually clear with a selenite wand, you can put this over your food. You can set the intention here of purifying your food as well. Now, it doesn't mean that you should go eat 24 cupcakes and they're all purified, but there is this energy here uh, that selenite can help you with. All right, we have Earth Angel. You are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. You absolutely are an Earth Angel. And lastly here, power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So whenever we get the power animal, we have to pull a spirit animal card. So we're gonna see what power animal is showing up here. Now, of course, you may have a different power animal than what's presented, so trust that to be yours. Now we have fox showing up here and we have ant. Uh, ant spirit, it's time to collaborate and we have think on your feet. So there is a shift here around collaboration, something with the missing piece 
whatever felt missing or maybe the logical mind as well. Maybe you felt like there was a little bit of brain fog around a situation. I feel like there is confirmation coming in. You may have to make some quick decisions around a situation here, but there's more collaborating than maybe you've had in quite some time. So that's the message here from your power animals. Some of you could be dreaming about animals. Maybe you have animals that have crossed over the rainbow bridge, or you're seeing more animals in the outdoors. That is always a gift from the universe here. So pay attention to the animals that show up in your world. So that wraps up our selenite group one here. I apologize for leaving that out. Out, but I didn't want to miss it for you as I seen uh, we were you know we didn't talk about that so hopefully that wraps it up here for you and again feel free to jump ahead or if this is where we part thank you so much for tuning in lots of love hey hey pile two if you chose sage you've come to the right place here so sage a very powerful energy now, a lot of times when you think of people burning sage, that it can smell a whole lot like marijuana, right? And it can feel a little bit congested if some of you aren't liking the smell, right? Or you don't like uh, the smoke energy. It can actually be used in cooking. It can be taken internally as a liquid. It can be a spray or even a lozenge, a capsule, or even a tablet. So sage, when it's dried, it can be burned. Uh, not just dried, but it can be burned when it's dried, obviously, but it is used to heal. It's used for protection. It's used to increase uh, wisdom as well as boost any defense against dis-ease, also known as disease. It's actually an antioxidant, which does reduce free radicals. And again, remember what I said in the beginning, there was a lot of this, the common denominator uh, was the free radicals in all of the, the tools. So that was such an interesting factor. So... It also can relieve headaches and sore throat. How ironic, especially for those of you who are sensitive to the smells as well. Now it can also protect against bacterial and viral uh, infections. It supports digestion. It can aid us in our memory, especially if you do tend to have uh, memory loss at times or brain fog. So uh, Alzheimer's, it can be really good with as well. And sometimes people with Alzheimer's can be sensitive to smells. That may be where the sprays or the capsules may come in handy. It can reduce depression and anxiety as well as reduce inflammation. All right, so a lot of energy. I didn't even know some of those things here. I mean, you know that it's such a powerful, uh, powerful herb, but there's so much more that meets the eye here with sage. So one of my favorites personally is Palo Santo. I love to burn Palo Santo. It has a lot of the same uh, effects that sage has as well. We're just going to get all of your cards out here, but you do have in your themes, you have leadership showing up here, pile two. And I will mention a couple of the same, same um, energies that are coming up here during the, during the selenite reading as well. I was getting the name Celeste, so I wanted to mention that here as well. So Celeste could be significant just in case you are jumping around or you're only choosing one reading. I'm also getting the name Sage or Ivy. Uh, some of you could certainly be clear audience, especially if you do choose the singing bowls or if you resonate with sound healing or lyrics, music, musical notes, maybe you play a musical instrument. I'm also getting 444 or 40 could be significant as well as the name Marin or Mori. Uh, that could be significant as well. All right. So we do have teacher energy coming in here. We have counselor. We have leadership here. You have body work. So some of you could even be body workers or light workers. Maybe you work with energy and some of you may even burn sage, palo santo, or use spiritual tools in your own practice. Okay, and last but not least, all right, you're getting integrity, the same one that pile one received as well. So let's dive in here for you. Your first card out we have is body work. 
Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Now, this doesn't have to be career. For some of you, it may be, but this is part of your life's purpose. This could be your personal life. You could benefit from getting body work done or for you taking a Reiki class or some sort of energy healing, learning more about the body, getting massages done, chiropractic work, which if you are needing chiropractic work and you haven't already checked out the selenite reading you may want to check that out because it does talk about the skeletal system and the body as well so body work is part of your purpose now we also have leadership it says take charge of a situation you are being called to step into your power and i thought i seen here yeah you have the strength card which is about self-discipline and facing something head-on which was also a theme in pile one so we may see some parallels here i do recommend of course if if you would like to come back to the video save it and maybe you feel a pull towards one of the other tools or watch them all there's probably something you'll learn from each and every one of them but you are a leader here of some way, shape, or form, and you're being guided to make a decision because I get choice or I get some sort of decision for you, pal one, where it's up to you to make a choice when it comes to your health, when it comes to your career, your money, your relationship, and you may have been waiting for someone else to make a choice or maybe you're waiting for someone else to make the first move, but I get strongly that it's up to you. It's up to you to take the first step moving forward because I feel like that is something that needs to be done to maybe heal a union or to uh, prevent, right? Prevent, especially sage. It can help prevent against dis-ease. It can be very healing, very therapeutic. So maybe you taking the first step can be very healing and therapeutic. We have counseling here. You heal with your kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. Some of you are coaches, healers, mentors, counselors, therapists, or guides of some way, shape, or form. Whether you make a living doing this or you are in the grocery store and random people come up to you and tell you their life story. You give great advice pile two and that's why because you do heal with your words with your advice and even just listening you could be an excellent listener and other people trust you as well you have teaching you inspire young people to learn this doesn't have to just be young people it could be baby souls right souls that may not have lived as many lifetimes on this earth maybe as you have this can be teaching in a spiritual sense. It could be teaching traditionally. We constantly oscillate between teaching and learning. And if some of you are thinking about going back to school or teaching a course, a shop, a seminar, or a workshop, this is your sign. Because there is a alternative education or something you are being guided to learn at this time or to evolve into because that could bring you complete freedom financial freedom, emotional freedom. The teaching is also about lessons. So some of you, pal too, could be going through a very teachable moment on your soul's journey that is actually going to set you free, okay? You are free to do what you choose. That's the beauty of free will, but also about soul alignment. You have came to earth to have human experiences, right? And those experiences, if they are very difficult, right? But if we've learned the lesson, we don't have to stay in that dynamic. We are free to move on, but that's up to our soul. It's up to us if we've learned the lesson that we've wanted to learn, or if we've grown in a way where our souls wanted to grow or advance. Now, what we have here, for your key themes, we have education. So again, another card here of teachable moments. This may have to do with books. Some of you could be writers, authors, teachers, right? Maybe this is an online course. You could be studying for something new, maybe going through a training course or again, schooling. So the fact that you have it twice, I feel like there's a new chapter in your life that is opening up. This could be a chapter around wellness, health, and healing, especially if you are a body worker or body, you know, body healer, and you're mixing that in with counseling and teaching and your leadership skills. I mean, this could really be a big thing for you, Pile 2. Now, you also have body talk. 
So a lot of you, this does stem around your own self-worth. Maybe some of you have gone through uh, an experience where you've had to heal yourself and you have utilized the tools and the resources. Therefore, you know they work and you want to teach others. Right? You want to teach others how to heal. And some of you, it is with herbs. It could be with essential oils. It could be with you know any sort of energy healing or therapy or exercise training, mental training with the counseling. Some of you could be uh, psychotherapists. You could be into psychology, learning more about belief systems, the power of the mind as well. But this is about mental health, body image, and chakra healing, which we're seeing a couple times here as well. So maybe even taking some classes or learning more about the chakra system and learning about self-love, right? And learning acceptance, acceptance of who you are and the role that you play here on earth. And your final themes card here is breakthrough. This is all about a realization here, discovery, self-discovery. A lot of you are discovering even more about yourself, maybe through human design, astrology, maybe even tarot. You're learning about your spiritual gifts and maybe even your clairs. And as I said that, they showed me 4044 on the clock. So there's that 44 energy showing up. And fours are about structure stability and setting a foundation, one that even if that foundation foundation is shook by maybe global impacts or economy, that you're still going to survive and thrive. Okay, so this is advancement. It is a moment of truth. And I feel like a lot of you, you are going to have this breakthrough moment here within the next, I want to even say the next four to six weeks, where you're going to make some big choices in your life that have to do with an area around your financial or some sort of stability. Home, it could be, or a relationship, something that you felt a little bit unstable in. Now the tarot card showing up here, we have the four of wands, joy and stability. I feel like this is what you're going for, right? We just talked about this even before this card came up. So some sense of stability here, having uh, the four walls, because this can be 1111 energy here as well. It is about celebratory milestones, right? It is new home, or it could be halfway to marriage, some sort of commitments or parties, awards, graduation. Uh, this came up in pile one as well, but I also see here by the next holiday for you, or there could be some sort of achievement coming up, some sort of party or milestone that will be like a holiday or it will be something that you remember, like a special date or an anniversary, or you know, you'll remember that's the time that I bought the house or that's an anniversary that I don't ever want to forget, or it even could be a, an important date such as a celebration of life or when someone crossed over but I feel like there's going to be a reward, excuse me, a reward that comes out of a situation here. Because yes, maybe things didn't always go the way that you had thought, but you're going to receive something better than maybe what you thought. Now you do have the eight showing up here, strength. Uh, this is control as well. When the strength card shows up, you've gone through a lot, Leo energy. It's about your endurance, your power. This is about you having the self-discipline and taking a look at the shadow or taking a look at whatever saboteuring behavior pile to that maybe you get yourself into and facing it, right? Being gentle with yourself, being kind with yourself and knowing that you have the endurance and the power to overcome anything, any struggles that tend to threaten you or threaten your stability. Now we have three pentacle cards, three coins. We have the two of pentacles, we have the five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So the two, the five and the eight, this is about finding balance amidst chaos, right? It's, it's about comparing, uh, maybe trying to find balance amongst the work life, the play life. Some of you could have a choice to make between this job or that job, this relationship or that one, right? Uh, should I stay? Should I leave? How can you create balance in your life? Because I'm getting that something has become a little bit overwhelming for you and you felt a little bit lost, pile two, with the five of pentacles. This can be feeling a little bit alone, feeling left out in the cold. But the good news is that moon, it is casting light towards 
a direction for you. And sometimes, I mean, that moon energy can be truths being exposed or, you know, being able to expose the shadow so you're able to see your way, even if you're uncertain about that path forward. And you can see that she is holding that lantern and there is a light on in the house. However, it looks like there's still a little bit of a trek or a detour for her to get there because there's a whole river or stream in front of her. So I feel for some of you, Yes, this will take some dedicated effort, right? The eight, 2024 is an eight year. This is about infinite possibilities, infinite opportunities. It's also the card of dedicated effort, work, strength. We're seeing two eights showing up here that leads you to your star. 17 here is healing. It is breaking free of the chains. There's your freedom energy here, pile two. 17 is Aquarian energy saying, don't give up. Don't give up because you're closer than you think. You're coming home. You're coming home to yourself. You're coming home to your dreams. This star is all about positivity and peace and guidance and hope right? So if you need that purification or if you need that protection or that extra boost of wisdom, right? Or just feeling a sense of renewal, this sage can really bring about that energy for you. And because you have the star with the freedom, I feel like this is also about freeing yourself from physical and mental dis-ease, right? Also known as disease. And so you're breaking the chains here and some of you are reversing the side effects of something that was very difficult or you are healing immensely. And in that way, it kind of is a reversal by healing immensely. You're coming out stronger. Yeah, you are breaking the chain. Some of you, this is ancestral karmic patterns, okay? For others of you, because you've gone through some situations that you've learned a lot from, now you are the wise teacher. You are the one that can help others because you've gone through it yourself. All right, what do we have here from the angels? We have fairies. You have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping mother nature. Well, look at what's around her, a bunch of herbs and flowers and plant life. So that goes perfectly with this theme of sage here, but you definitely have a strong purpose with mother nature and uh, maybe plant life. Some of you may even be vegan or veg uh, vegetarian or just have a strong pull to eat cleaner or to maybe garden or grow your own foods, maybe do some canning, some freezing, sustainability basically getting back to the roots getting back to a sense of feeling good you also have the integrity card showing up here for you pal too this is the energy here of aligning your actions so that they match your values and your inner knowingness of what's best and what's right for you that is what integrity is making sure you walk the walk you talk the talk and you're aligning aligning to the beliefs that you have for yourself, that you trust are for your highest good. You have God box here, right? Any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. God box, beautiful. And last but not least, we have crown chakra. Okay, crown chakra, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. I love this. A lot of you have really wonderful ideas coming in here. And because I see the moon showing up twice, this could be by the next full moon. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, you may wanna look at the next full moon because I feel like there's gonna be a choice that you make between now and the next full moon that could have a very big impact on your life. Beautiful, I love this for you, pal, too. I hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to jump forward towards the next uh, group singing bowl or to leave it here. That's okay as well. Thank you so much for your time, for your love, for your support. Till next time. Hey, hey, pile three, you chose the singing bowl. So the singing bowl is all about sound therapy, right? Through invoking vibrational frequencies that can help aid and treat in various illnesses. 
and it induces healing. So it's a really beautiful energy. Uh, it's used in healing work, meditation, relaxation. It can be used for clearing and protecting energy as well. You can use them to clear a room or to even uh, cleanse the energies of the body. You can use them to clear your crystals. It's just a really wonderful tool to have. Now, it also encourages the body cells and to vibrate at you know optimal frequency. So as I said in the introduction, the sound healing here can be specifically attuned right to a certain chakra as well. And I believe this one in particular is aligned with the crown chakra, but you can get them at different frequencies. Whew, thank you, spirit. And for some of you, uh, the one that you are pulled towards, I always recommend going and testing them out versus just buying one on the internet. But I mean, you can do you can do whatever you feel comfortable with, but it's always good to see which one kind of connects with and lines with your aligns with your energy. But just because it's aligned to a certain chakra doesn't mean that you can't, you know, it can't help you in other areas. So singing bowls can improve blood pressure heart rate, respiratory rates. It can encourage the brain waves such as beta or theta to calm the mind, which is why it can really uh, induce that meditative state. So just a lot of really beautiful effects the singing bowl has. So I do recommend uh, if you don't have a singing bowl of your own, this can... <clears throat> This can be beneficial for you to even go on YouTube and type in singing bowl meditation and you can get a dose of the frequencies that way as well. Uh, there are singing bowl classes that you can take or singing bowl baths or sound baths as well. I thought that there was a card that had flipped over here. Maybe not. So what we have here is some of the same energy of... The other two piles as well, just a couple here. We do have body work showing up and I shuffle these in between quite well. So let's see what we have. Different energy, but again, that underlying energy does have to do with free radicals, right? So this can certainly reduce free radicals that we were talking about in the very beginning by shifting the vibrational frequencies of you know the energy centers in the body. So let's take a look at some of your key themes here, singing bowl pile. Some of your life themes, your key themes here on earth, part of your soul's journey could be around letting go, right? Letting go is so difficult, right? We fight to hang on. We fight to let go. Liberating yourself can be one of the most challenging things that we do here on earth. This is about goodbyes, right? It's about growth, possibly ascension, closure, life lessons, and allowing ourselves to go more with the flow instead of feeling the resistance that can come when change is part of our path, which change is inevitable. We're constantly shifting, shaping, evolving, and there's constantly going to be cycles of hanging on and letting go, right? But it's up to you to, de to decide when it's time to detach. And I just heard something the other day that was interesting because so many times in this society, we tell people, don't give up, just hang on a little bit longer, right? But I also feel like there is great victory in knowing when to quit, right? They say, you don't, you're not a loser until you quit, right? Or you're not a really giving up until you quit. But I feel like there's also a double-edged sword to that. Sometimes we need to quit. Sometimes we need to walk away from a situation that could be toxic or we need to quit uh, alcohol or quit doing something that no longer aligns with our energy. So sometimes quitting is the best thing that we can do for ourselves or walking away from a situation is the best thing that we can do for ourselves instead of hanging on and fighting tooth and nail. Of course, that's up to you to know to know the difference. And like I said, that's a really big life theme for a lot of us. But I feel like you are being guided here to 
liberate yourself from maybe a limiting behavior, a thought, a relationship, a job, because I feel like there are new beginnings coming in here for you. Now, you have the education card as well, Pile 3. So this is about maybe learning more about your craft. Now, it's interesting as well because... Uh, the singing bowl here, it could be music, right? Music therapy. Some of you could be clear audience. Some of you may even be gaining messages through music, through, through songs as well, or even sounds in nature, right? Pay attention to what you're hearing, whether it's from someone's mouth, whether it's from the radio, whether it's from nature, because I feel that you choosing this pile is no coincidence. There is an energy here, frequency shifting within you that you're being guided to learn about or pay attention to at this time. Now, the education has to do with knowledge. It has to do with lessons, being able to have this teachable moment and maybe even take a, a course online. This could be studying, going back to school. Maybe you're the teacher. You could be the student. Some of you could be writing a book or writing a memoir, but this is about turning the page, right? I'm hearing that Metallica song, uh, Turn the Page. So I feel like there is a big energy here about, you know, turning the page, your next chapter, the next portion of your life. But in order to turn the page, we need to let go of, you know, the old story. Maybe we want to keep reading it because we've been distracted or maybe we didn't soak up all of the information on that current page, right? But I feel like you've done all that you could in this chapter or in this page of your book and it's time to turn the page here it could be in your career because you have career showing up which is about climbing the ladder it could be about advancement here maybe taking your business or your career to the next level maybe going in for that promotion maybe turning that side hustle into a full-time gig for some of you it is some sort of bonus here or branching off of an idea uh, i also see here there's something with partnerships or partnering up or connecting to a client or someone who could help you, financial advisor or maybe even a family member. Uh, someone here I feel like is a wise counselor or a guide. I mean, they could just be giving you some sort of expert advice that could help you gain more clarity when it comes to your career. Now, something's coming to light here. Okay, it could be a secret, could be something that maybe you just didn't have the knowledge or the access to. Okay, you weren't able to access for whatever reason. We also have meditation coming in here, which again, the singing bowl can really help kind of calm that heart rate. For those of you that do suffer at times from anxiety, uh, this can encourage you to just calm the mind and to get clear on your intentions and to eliminate those distractions, right? It really does induce a sense of clarity and healing. So if you're wanting that, the singing bowl is the right tool for you. All right, what's the tarot that comes up? Of course, the first thing that I noticed was the devil. Some sort of toxicity you're learning to master, right? Be or it becomes a master of you. Either you become a master of it or it becomes a master of you. Kind of like master of puppets. Okay, who likes Metallica here? Because master of puppets is also, I believe, a Metallica song or album. Uh, but this is about freeing yourself from destructive tendencies or urges or impulsivities, right? The, the devil Capricorn energy can be addictions obsessions, fears, codependent dynamics, materialism. It can be manipulation, narcissism, but it can be anything that holds you in that cage. Who wants to be in that cage? Certainly not your heart, pile three, right? It's time to let go, hence the letting go card, and it's time to free yourself because this is about a reclaiming of power. It is about freeing yourself from that which holds you back. So we have the, the hanged man. Something has kept you in a state of limbo with the hanged man. It's kept you in a spot to observe. A lot of times when the hanged man shows up, it is for you to do a self-evaluation and say, okay, what am I missing here? I feel stuck, but I know I'm really not. So how can I see things from a new perspective? How can I tune into the portal of my heart tune into the collective divine consciousness and discover that I have the key. I always have had the key, but what do I need to get myself out of this pickle or out of this mess that maybe that devil energy has brought in? Because the hanged man is saying, you're sick of being stuck, 
right? And it's time to detach. It's time to let go, right? So when the justice energy shows up here, I feel like this is letting go of karma, right? It's letting go of judgments. It's letting go of unjust energies or imbalance. And it's time to be truthful. It's time to bring in fairness, maybe even get the legal system involved uh, or divorce, anything of that nature. But it's time to detach yourself from whatever this toxicity is because you have the three of cups and the eight of wands. This is about sharing and resourcefulness. It's about that teamwork as well, right? It is about leadership and being able to share the role of leadership, but also know that you have the resources, you have helpful people, you have what it takes to create and build a life that you want for yourself and other people are here to help as well. Even if it doesn't feel that way, once you reach out, because you also have the eight of wands, which can be the card of messages, communication, uh, success and growth, as it says here. But the eight of wands is maybe even relocating. There could be a move involved, some sort of travel, some sort of news or communication or message that allows you to free yourself from that which holds you back powerful energy. So definitely looks like you pile three, you're getting yourself out of an energy where maybe you weren't appreciated for your talents, for your leadership abilities or skills. Okay. And maybe a career change is on the horizon. I don't even think we talked about these ones yet. All right, let's take a step back here. Uh, you have leadership showing up take charge of this situation. Yeah, what did we say earlier? Either it becomes a master of you or you become a master of it. It's up to you, the choice is yours. Yes, that devil energy can hold you back, but the hanged man is saying you have the key, you're not stuck. Even though it feels that way, you're not. Take charge of a situation here. Where there's a will, there's a way. And if you're thinking about a career change, because you now have career showing up twice in your reading, it says you are embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Yeah, some of you are really shifting your dynamic around career, finances, money, and abundance. We have environmentalist. You're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about maybe nature, maybe about the animals. I'm getting here, some of you could be in a profession where you are helping others, uh, some sort of safety, maybe you're a 911 uh, operator or an EMT, or you work in a, a 911 call center, perhaps you're a nurse or a doctor, or you are a light worker of some sort. There could be something that you are being called because you also have the body work and it says your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Yeah, so some sort of exercising, coaching. I'm also getting physical therapy. Some of you could be uh, healers of some sort. But you also may work, uh, I'm getting firefighter, or you could be uh, an activist of some sort wanting to preserve or work with what the, the universe has, right? What, what Mother Earth brings about healing plants, healing herbs, recycling. I'm just getting the strong act of humanitarianism. It wouldn't surprise me, pile three, if a lot of you are life path nines. I uh, could even be life path three I'm getting here as well as uh, a life path that does a lot of teaching, a lot of learning, something with education. Uh, it could be possibly a seven or an eight as well. We have body work, which we just mentioned. And lastly, look at this, you have infinite abundance. You are fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. So freeing yourself from maybe a situation in work that you're ready to go off on your own, maybe ready to retire, build your own business or grow your own abundance in some way, shape or form. Uh, this could be of course in love where you're fully supported. You have a cornucopia which is filled with fruit. So I feel like your fruits of your labor, your hard work, whether it's self-development and healing, maybe you've gone through a lot of toxicity in your relationships. I feel like you've done the work here, pile three, and you're gonna be rewarded generously. Good karma coming your way. All right, last but not least, let's look at what the angels have for you. We have 
Wow. I mean, you can't make this up. You see the big theme in your reading. We have release. We have the toxicity, letting go. Now we have, yeah, release showing up here with cut your cords. You are being guided like no other to cut something out of your life. It could be as simple as maybe gluten, right? Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a belief. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Smith. I know that's a very common name, Smith or Smitty or Smits. Uh, that is showing up here, but first I heard Smith. Okay, so maybe your name is Smith or that's part of a family name or someone's name. Please take it as it resonates. Now, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Archangel Michael is the protector, right? He can help cut things out. He carries that sword with honor and he'll help you cut out things that no longer serve you. So release, letting go. You have here, ask Archangel Michael. There again, Michael is showing up. Maybe your name's Michael or a lot of you do connect to the angelic realm. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships or past energies freeing you from destructive patterns. That's the devil, right? The devil brings in any sort of destruction and it's time for you to cut the cords. You can see here, Archangel Michael, beautiful energy. He has his, his sword, it's lit up and he has his arm in the position, ready to cut it out of your life. You are more than ready to cut this out, whatever this is. And this singing bowl energy can really slice through. It can clear and cleanse and heal. So work with singing bowl for those of you that are going through some of this, you know, big change in your life. Have you asked your angels for help? The angels want to help you with a situation. However, they do require your per permission before they can intervene with your free will choices. Some of you may or may not have known that. Yes, of course, sometimes uh, the, the angels swoop in divine intervention, but for a lot of things, they, they do realize that there is, you know, free will and it's up to you to ask. And I feel like some of you already have, but some of you weren't aware and it's important for you to connect and reach out. You have God box. Pile two also received this. Uh, it says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Beautiful. Some of you may even work with the moon. Perhaps you have written things down on a piece of paper and maybe buried them or put them out under the moonlight. Okay, God box is another beautiful way of releasing anxieties, concerns, and stress. And it could even be writing down whatever this devil energy is for you. Maybe it is thoughts. Maybe it's things that you do want to release. That could be very beneficial for you to uh, let go of and write down and Put your worries to the universe to take care of for you. It doesn't mean that you aren't taking action, but it means that you are reducing, like the singing bowl does, right? Reducing and cutting through uh, those frequencies that may be a little bit lower to raise your vibrations to get you through anything here. Like it says, encouraging your body's cells to vibrate at optimal frequencies. It's like uh, a vehicle. Right, if you're driving a BMW, you can't put regular gas in a BMW. You have to get premium, right? Because that's at, you know, that's at the optimal function that it's gonna run best with premium oil. And if you tend to put diesel in it, or if you tend to put a different kind of oil, it's not gonna run at its optimal uh, best. And that's kind of the singing bowl here for you as well, is going to be that correct oil, but get all of the gears kind of flowing into place where maybe if you were running on empty, or if you you just weren't quite sure that can help you get back to feeling uh, more encouraged more inspired and just feel better overall and last but not least you have vegetarian or vegan diet it doesn't mean that you have to go full-blown veg vegetarian some of you are or vegan but fresh organic fruits and vegetables can absolutely give you a boost of high life force energy it doesn't matter you know who you are, what you eat, what you put into your body, getting a little bit of extra plant energy here can be very, very 
influential and very important and very healing to the body. So it says this is going to also elevate your spiritual frequency. So some of you can even use crystal singing bowls or metal singing bowls here to cleanse food as well to purify and give it an extra oomph, right? And so some of you are being guided to heal, maybe heal the gut, uh, heal cholesterol, heal diabetes, because those can also be heart energies. And I feel like your blood and your uh, energy levels can improve by also eating more vegetarian-based foods. All right, pile three, that is what I have for you. Please do see the disclaimer in the description box below as I'm not a medical professional, a financial advisor. I'm not a professional in any way to be giving that type of advice. Uh, please take what resonates for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading or to sign up for the monthly newsletter and to get into the free reading giveaway. All you need to do in this video is I want you to post in the comment section below the video one new thing that you learned during this reading. Whether you watched maybe one of the sections or all three, what new thing did you learn that you did not know before? Enter that into the comment section. I personally will enter you into the free reading giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This was such a fun reading. If you guys like this style, even though it's not necessarily pick a card, uh, we will label it that. But if you like learning about spiritual tools, uh, maybe I'll incorporate more of that here for you as well. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love.